the whole band stayed at the chalet all summer long. Then, I suppose, everyone went their own sweet way. Did you ever see any of them again? Oh, no. What about Dana and Leon? They too went their own ways, I guess. And that, Fräulein Walker, is all there is to it. Where did Dana go after she left? Back to her parents, I should think. Somewhere in Vargen. Do you know if she's still alive? Can't be sure, but I doubt it. It was a lifetime ago, Fräulein Walker. Where do you think she might be if she were? No idea. Things went from bad to worse after that summer. Not to mention half the town was razed during the war. Did Dana leave anything here? Any documents or anything that might help me find where she went? Not that I know of. But I suppose there might be... In Father's old coffer. Must still be in the loft. Junta bought it from him that summer, so she could use it to store her precious filming gear. She was supposed to come back for it, but she never did. If there is anything that can help you, it will be in there. So feel free to look around the refuge by yourself if you like, even though I don't think anyone managed to open the coffer since Junta left. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny. Thank you so much. Maintaining the refuge must be a huge job. As tough as Lenny is, I hope she has some help when she needs it. What now, Fräulein? I was just about to doze off. About Junta's coffer. What about it? Where did the coffer in the loft come from? In fact, Father made it himself during the long winter evenings. He wanted something more elegant and solid than the old family coffer where he kept the takings. So he made the one upstairs, thanks to the techniques he learnt when he worked in the Vorlberg factory in Valadilene. Valadilene in France? That's right. The price Junta paid was equivalent to a month's worth of takings. Money well spent, though, because it was built like a mountain fortress. I'll be going then. I have to put in a coin. Typical. The mechanism is blocking it. There's a cap blocking the view. There must be a way of removing it.
dazzling up here. I can see why they call it the Silberspiegel. Silber means silver, and Spiegel is mirror. The silver mirror. It certainly lives up to its name. It's not the time to take the tram back. There's still a lot to do here. must lead to the other side of the circus. The authorities have closed the path due to excavation works on the other side of the mountain. Suits me. I wasn't exactly planning on climbing a mountain today anyway. That must be the piano Dana played on the night she met Leon. The night Lenny told me about. Ah, I see I'm not the only one stuck here. <laughs> Ah, pull up a seat, and together we can moan about being stuck here. Thank you, but I have things to do. I hope you can stay until this evening, at least. In London, they have the changing of the guard. Here we get the changing of the colors. I guarantee it's worth the wait. Hmm? English? American, actually. Oh, seeing as you've come so far, then... Besides... It's always nicer to be stranded in good company. From Belgium, myself, on a world climbing tour. Stranded? Didn't you know? They've closed the Teufelskragen. That's the path they call the Devil's Pass. So that's what all the fuss is about. All down to climate change. You mean the thaw, right? Made the path too dangerous to climb and... apparently resulted in a morbid discovery. Oh? Bodies of resistance fighters, killed while leading refugees to Switzerland. Frozen solid. Resistance fighters? You mean... frozen since the Second World War? Uh, that's what the paper says. Is that what the tent's for? It's a temporary chapel of rest that the rescue team made while waiting for the bodies to be airlifted out. I see. I guess there's no reason to disrespect the departed, even after all these years. I only hope all this sudden interest from excavationists puts an end to the stupid rumors that a strange creature haunts the Zilberspiegel. Otherwise, you can be sure, as soon as the old lady pops her clogs, this place will become run over by those infernal tourists. Can you tell me about this Devil's Pass? Oh, it's on the far side of the Cirque, looking out from the terrace. As you can imagine, it's called Devil's Pass because it's extremely dangerous. Most of all because of the risk of avalanche. 
Only seasoned alpinists can negotiate it, really. As a professional alpinist myself, what I love about it is knowing I'm climbing in the tracks of courageous climbers of bygone times. There's a real sense of uh, history about it. For example, resistance fighters used it during the war to smuggle vagherons and uh, other victims of the Brown Shadow into Switzerland. Is that the path they've closed that leads from the refuge? That's right. Thought so. I saw the notice. They've blocked it off so the helicopter can airlift the frozen bodies from the bottom of the pass. Meantime, they have set up a temporary chapel of rest, as you can see. Well, that's moving. It's important to show respect, even after all these years. What about those frozen bodies they discovered at the foot of Devil's Pass? Well, um, due to climate change, the snow line has receded, revealing the bodies trapped in the ice since the Second World War. Most probably resistance fighters and exiles, trying to flee the fascist occupiers and reach Switzerland by the pass. Hmm? I imagine they got caught in an avalanche. Poor wretches have been imprisoned ever since. Until today. That is why the authorities have blocked access to the pass, so they can take the bodies out, identify them, and give them a proper burial. I've had some experience with fantastic fauna myself. But what do you make of the so-called strange creature that roams the mountain? <laughs> Just another local fairy tale to pull in the tourists, if you ask me. They say it lives in prehistoric caves. <laughs> and that it's responsible for people going missing. Ooh. Some even say that the mysterious cries you can hear on some nights are the creature calling for a mate. In other words, the usual twaddle you normally get in remote or uncharted places like uh, the high mountain or the deep sea. <laughs> twaddle passed down from generation to generation through sheer ignorance. Surely, from what I read on the way here, the cries could come from an animal native to the area, couldn't they? That is my thinking exactly. No doubt a bear with something caught in his throat. <laughs> it happens, you know. <laughs> Probably scared the tourist one evening, or... Uh, mm, maybe it was young pranksters. Right. Thanks for cluing me in. Anyway, I better get back to what I was doing. You are welcome, Fräulein. Reminds me of Hans's automatons in Valadilene. A mechanical stove. Seen better days. Hm. Another object with the look of the Varlberg workshop. Lenny's father must have made this stair lift to help her get up and down the stairs. Must have taken him many hours. It's touching when you think about it.
An old <laughs> book? The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann? Funny. My grandparents left me a copy before they died when I was a kid. I should get around to reading it someday. Dormitories. I wonder how many people stop at the refuge these days. Dormitories. I wonder how many people stop at the refuge these days. This must be Lenny's room. Not sure I'm allowed. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. Sweet. Photos of the refuge. Looks like they're arranged by time period. There are no photos of the occupation of Wagen by the Brown Shadow. I guess that corresponds to when Lenny and her father had to leave the refuge. These date from before the war. There's even one from the summer when Dana worked at the refuge. All these photos go up to the 80s, including my date of birth. This series ends at 2002, three years ago, when I began my journey with Oscar and Hans's train. Pretty impressive. Obviously helps Lenny get up and about.
Hmm, it's cold in here. Hmm, another of those cigar butts. Austere. Looks like a storage room. Another of those cigar butts. So that's the painting Dana told Lenny's father to buy. Not bad. And similar in style to my painting. Wonder what the others were like. There. But who could have left it open? Austere. Looks like a storage room. Take-up reel, like the ones used on old cinema projectors. I must remember to ask Lenny about it. So much going on in these mountains. Now and before. But I'd better get back on track or I'll end up renting a room from Demoiselle Lenny and explore the area for weeks.
don't want to break my neck, thank you very much. This must be Yunta's coffer, the one Lenny spoke about.
I should check each side of the coffer. Amazing! Now it shows the view from the terrace. Amazing! Now it shows the view from the terrace. Up reel, like the ones used on old cinema projectors. <sighs> the meager amount I've managed to save since I escaped from the mine. Olivia sent me a plane ticket for New York. What if... No, forget it. Don't want to break my neck, thank you very much.
Amazing! Now it shows the view from the terrace. The painting on the top of Yunta's coffer reminds me of the view from the terrace. Don't want to break my neck, thank you very much. What now, Fraulein? I was just about to doze off. Can you tell me about the resistance medal with your name on it? Sure, I was in the resistance. Not for those medals, though. Nothing but tin charms. You see, there's those who received medals, and those that were killed. And besides, they aren't gonna give me my legs back, are they? No, but they prove you played a part in the liberation of your country. Puh, nonsense. Nothing but bad memories. I'd rather not talk about it. How did you meet Leon Kobatis? Why do you ask? You from the police or something? No. I just thought I'd ask, since you seem to appreciate him. Didn't you? Fraulein, when I said you could look in the guest rooms, it didn't include my room. But yes, like I said before, he was a regular customer even before the episode with Dana. To me, he was like a movie star. What young girl wouldn't be bowled over by a young, handsome alpinist? And to top it off, an Olympic medalist?
About Yunta's coffer. What about it? You wouldn't happen to know the combination, would you? I told you before, I don't know it. I'll be going then. Better try something else. That's the fabled Zilberspiegel. Oh, I wish I had time to watch it change color. So that's what they call the Devil's Pass. Incredible. The bodies of the resistance fighters that the Alpinist mentioned must be inside. <sighs> Gives me the creeps just thinking about it.
I'll need a key to open it. Wagen Refuge, 1937. Junta's films, taken during the summer Dana worked here. This one says Lenny Director. So I guess Lenny did get to make her film after all. A film developing company. They probably developed Junta's films and sent them back once they were done. Looks like she didn't note down the end of her meeting with Dana. But it might still contain the info I need to open the coffer. No doubt Junta must have written this. Summer 1937. The year Dana worked here. Let's see. I filled my last diary last night. Ordered another one, but still waiting for supplies to be delivered to the refuge. Using an old envelope in the meantime. Today invited Dana for a chat after her shift. I'd like to know what Leon sees in her. I've never seen him so smitten. Thanks for popping up, Dana. How did the shift go? Fine. Same as usual. Just finishing up here, then I'll make us a nice cup of tea. Wow. That looks futuristic. What is it? Ah, that little baby is my viewer. That's why it goes in the coffer. What does it do? I use it to put together and edit the rushes. The what? <laughs> Rushes. In other words, the strips of unedited footage. I've finished today's selection, so be a dear and put it in the coffer, would you? I would if I knew how. Oh, just turn the key in the lock. The coffer is right there, darling. Did you take this picture? Of course. And Herr Hurs, what's he doing with the Origin Expedition? Unfortunately, all scientific expeditions sponsored by the Brown Shadow come with a chaperone like him. There to make sure their funds are used as they see fit. In other words, that there is no divergence with regards to their ideology. How did you get to film them training? Oh, it was a commission. Lucky, really. Right place, right time kind of thing. Of course, I jumped at the chance because it meant I could film Leon in action at last. How did you and Leon get together? I mean... How did you... We're just friends, if that's what you want to know. Herr Gustav's radio. Looks like he customized it, probably to compensate for the wave disturbance due to the mountains.
That's a lot of equipment you have there. If you don't mind my asking, how do you manage to pay for it all? Oh, that's easy. Especially when you know a few generous patrons of the arts, dear. Did you take the photos of the athletes? <laughs> You're not often lonely, then. Well, look at our sweet little waitress. Doesn't she have a saucy mind? It's called art, dear. My work aims to explore every facet of youth and the vitality of bodies. I bet it does. Hey, you little snoop. Where do you think you're going? Just looking. I love your photos. Ah, well, they each represent an element of mountain wildlife and flora I've photographed recently. I use them as a sort of checklist. A checklist, huh? Yunta's blank film, soon to become movies. All these newspaper clippings mention the brown shadow. According to father, their influence is growing among the population. Now that I've had the misfortune of meeting Herr Huss here, I understand his concern. The key Junta asked me to hide. Dana, be a darling and put the key somewhere safe. You can't be too careful with these mountain people, especially with that little Lenny sniffing around my equipment all the time. Where do you normally put it? I have a little hiding place over there. Is this where you want me to put the key? Yes, there's a dear. It's a handy hiding place. Who made it? Oh, Herr Gustav. He knows only too well that some customers have their little secrets, you know. Yunta's key should be safe in there. need to finish preparing for the filming tomorrow, then we can chat away to our heart's content. If you could just fetch me a new roll of film from the darkroom, then we're done. Here are the film rolls you to ask me for.
This is where Yunta's bed used to be. Which means her secret stash can't be far. Impossible. Yunta's coffer key. According to Yunta's notes, there was a room on the other side. I can't reach it anymore, but Dana could. Where can I find the combination for the mechanism? End of Yunta's notes. Impossible to know what happened next. But maybe I can figure out how to open the coffer from what I've read. Darn it. The end of Yunta's notes. Impossible to know what happened next. Yunta chose the combination. I'm sure there's more for me to do here. According to Yunta's notes, there was a room on the other side. I can't reach it anymore, but Dana could.
but the screen is in the way. Interesting footage. Let's see what's on the other reel. I should rewind and remove the first reel before putting this one on.
Lenny didn't say she filmed a fight between Dana and Leon. I'd better go back and see her to find out about it. Demoiselle Lenny, I saw the film you shot of Dana and Leon. So Junta kept it. She got so cross when she discovered I'd rummaged through her stuff. She most certainly had secrets of her own, that one. I know it was ages ago. But can you recall what happened between Dana and Leon that day? You do like flogging a dead horse, don't you, Fraulein? But as you please. Since Junta never let me use her camera, I decided not to ask her anymore. Like that, she couldn't say no, could she? And that's when I heard them arguing. How could you agree to this, Leon? How could you? I told you, I had no choice. The local guide for Baltayar can't do it anymore. He got injured. Why don't you just refuse then? It's their stupid expedition, not yours. 
Look, Dana, I didn't want to tell you, but... But what? Frank Huss, that brute from the other night. He's the one that made the call here. In other words, he's taking revenge by sending me to the other side of the world with the Origin Expedition. And he said that if I refused, something might happen. Not just to me, but to you as well. What do you mean? You know what I mean. You're a Vagarian and so are your parents, right? Well, Huss says it won't be long before the Brown Shadow is in power and he made it clear that something was brewing and that you and your parents will be first on the list. What list? I don't know, but it can't be good. Then he said that other Vagarians would follow. Dear God. Damn it, darling. The world's gone crazy. Promise. Promise me you'll be very careful. It will be all right if you just watch yourself and what you say. I've asked you to stand by you just in case. It won't be long, darling. Half a school year at the Music Academy. I'll be home for Christmas. Promise. Oh, uh, come here now, my pretty Edelweiss. Don't call me that. You know I don't like it. It's true, though. That's exactly where you are, my pretty Edelweiss. If you keep that up, Leon Kobatis, I'll find you a nickname, too. <laughs> Go on, then. All right. Your nickname will be Highland Painter from now on. Not sure my Veganese artist friends will like it, but why not? Beautiful, isn't it? I could stay here forever. There, Fräulein Walker. That is all I have to say. I hope this time you have what you need to continue on your journey. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny. But there is just one more thing. You mentioned a music academy? They must have ledgers and archives. Maybe I'll be able to find out whether Dana left an address there. Well, it hasn't moved. It's still in Vargen. Go to the Musicians' District. It's right next to the Musical Square. That's all I can tell you, so if you don't mind, Fräulein. Thank you. Then that's where I'll continue my search. Is it really worth your while to keep looking for Dana? Is it not just another pipe dream, Fräulein? I get the impression there have been others. I prefer to look at it as a calling. Besides, I don't have much choice. Thanks to you, she's a part of me now. As you wish. I hope you find what you are looking for. Thank you. Again. I've got everything I need from here, I guess. Best get back to the guest house. Get some rest. I'll go to the Music Academy first thing in the morning. So, I expect this will be our last goodbye then, Fräulein. Katusha, the girl in the painting. Her name is Dana. Dana Rose. That's nice, Kate. Real nice. I'm gonna find out who she was, just like I promised you. Nothing more than a good old adventure to forget your grief, I guess. You should go, Kate, or you're gonna miss the tram.
There will always be a dream for you.